Hello everybody, it's Trish again. I thought we'd do a joint freeing series today. This is literally a very specific practice called the joint freeing series. And I will try to put links in the information if I can figure that out. So we start with our hands, taking the hands straight out in front of us, just drop the fingers toward the floor and then flip them straight up. We're gonna do everything about four or five times. I don't usually count just enough times to make a little bit of an impact on that area of the body. Taking the hands flat again, we're gonna swing the fingers wide and then toward each other, wide and then toward each other a couple of times. And then you can kind of swing them off to one side together and then to the other. And you can feel this swinging stretch up the side of the arms. It feels pretty good. You can do this any direction that works for you. Good bringing the fingers into the palms, gentle fist, roll the, fit, the wrists. You can roll them together in the same direction and then in the other. Just feeling a little bit tired in your arms. Taking the palms flat up toward the sky, we're gonna move into our elbows. Tap your shoulders with your fingertips and open and close a few times. Opening and closing the elbows, getting up into the triceps and the biceps, the upper parts of the arm. The next time your fingers touch your shoulders, leave them there and open and close the elbows wide and then see if you can bring the elbows and let them kiss and then wide and then together. Excellent. Bringing them back together, stick them straight out from your shoulder joint and just move them up and down a few times. Just moving a little bit differently in the shoulder joint. Come back to center, open them out wide again, take the hands up, now you look like a cactus, and begin to drop one hand down and then bring it back up, keeping the shoulder kind of steady here. Drop the other hand down and back up. See if you want to do both hands together. This is only if your shoulder will allow it. Maybe you're just gonna be doing one shoulder the whole time. And then both together if that works. The arms point the hands point straight up, the arms reach up straight in the air and swing back behind you. Reach up straight in the air and swing back. You can lean forward slightly as you swing those arms back just a couple more times. Nice little stretch and warming in the muscles of the arms. Let's rearrange our seat. Hopefully you were sitting comfortably. You can now bring your legs around. You can stretch them out long or tuck them under crisscross and we're going to grab hold of the knees. You can do this sitting on a chair as well. Rock back, pull the belly in, drop your chin. We're rounding the spine and then rock forward, heart shines, head lift slightly. If you're protecting your spine from osteoporosis, then just rock in your hips forward and back, keeping your spine straight and tall, warming the muscles on either side of your vertebrae, your backbone. Coming back to center, let's just take one hand beside us on the floor and start to drop that shoulder, stretching the other outside edge of the body. Come back up, take that hand to the knee, take the other hand to the floor. And we're just gonna do this a couple times. Drop to one side, up and over to the other. And you'll notice we're not using our arms. You, of course, can add your arms if you'd like. I'm keeping the, mov the movement small just so that I can kind of focus in on the spine but all that other extra stuff is fun too. Coming back to center, let's twist. Take one hand behind, cross the other hand over to the opposite knee. Breathe in and gently pull and come on back. Let's switch to the other side. And you can start to add a little bit of net stretch here. As you turn, look over your shoulder, maybe drop your ear, tip your chin. Don't push your neck, just get a little bit of movement into it and come on back to center. And this time drop the neck, the, head, the chin downward. Lift it up, see if this works for your cervical spine, the spine of the neck. Come back to center and tip the ears, one toward the same shoulder and the other toward its shoulder, just a couple of times. You can just kind of tell, oh, I have a little bit of tightness. Maybe you can put a little heat on that later. Come back up, let's lean back, stretch the legs out long and work on our feet a little bit. Point the toes up and then point them forward. 
up and forward a couple times and then maybe one foot at a time pedaling your feet nice bring them together and flatten the feet up and then round them toward each other so the toes are all touching and then flatten them up and round them together flatten and round i don't know if you can see this flatten and round good you're moving up into the leg a little bit then begin to make big circles with your toes in one direction your whole leg should be getting involved here but we're mostly working in the ankles and it's funny to do this sitting on the floor it feels better to do it laying back with the legs in the air this is just the way that the series suggests it eventually you'll let your legs rest and you'll bring one knee into your chest grab hold behind the calf and lift the leg straightening the knee just bend the knee and straighten it and you don't have to completely straighten it it's just stretching and bending opening and closing the knee joint just one more time out and in stress that leg out bring the other knee up and lift the foot and bring it down up and down you can listen to your knee joint a little bit send it some love if it hurts don't do it letting that leg stretch out let's open the legs wide apart wide angle seated on the floor feet pointing up in the air we're going to take the right toe and point drop it down to the floor and slide it over to the other foot lift the toes up open them wide and open the leg back up point the other foot slide it over turn it outward and slide it back open do this a couple of times with each leg let's just do the right leg a couple times and you can feel the work up here in the hip joint there's something good about that kind of work getting into the joint opening it up and try the other leg a couple times remember you can do this sitting in a chair as well you might have your knee bent or your leg stretched out good now with the legs wide we're going to bend the knees and bring the feet to the floor and roll up onto hands and knees table pose stretch one leg out long behind you point those toes and then bring your knees toward your nose round your back let's inhale stretch out exhale round it up inhale stretch out exhale round one more time bring it back and let's bring the knee down stretch the other leg out nice and long point those toes round the spine nose to the knee and stretch it out we're only doing these about three times Bring that knee down start to walk both knees over to the right edge of your mat open your hands wide maybe even wider than your mat and start to swing your hips from side to side this feels pretty good down in the low back if it doesn't feel good don't do it just stand in your regular table pose and swing your hips side to side eventually you'll crawl your knees over to the other side and swing those hips from side to side Coming back to center and we're back where we started with our hands roll out those wrists bring the palms together and we say namaste thank you i hope your joints are free and so are we